Welcome to Good Morning ACS for the week of 9 to 13th October. I am Mohammed and I'm Amira and you are watching this week's news and updates. All school announcements. Student parent teacher conferences are coming on October 12th and the 11th. Your parents are invited to schedule appointments on the Tuesday afternoon and all day Wednesday to meet with your teachers. Students will not have school on the 12th of October. Information has been sent home about scheduling and appointments. Are you interested in participating in a worldwide drawing challenge, need NYP service of action, or want to share your drawings with the world? This is open to all the community as well. Then participate in this worldwide challenge and complete drawings in response to a daily Inktober prompt. Find out more about more by clicking on the Arts and Designs Chorology updates. Lower School Announcements Mr. John had bedtime stories last week and invited families into his home via Zoom as he read the chapter, a chapter from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Families joined as Harry, Ron, and Hermione embarked on cooling Malfoy by taking Polyjuice Potion. There will be bedtime, more bedtime stories Mr. John will share via Zoom links and dates before story time. The grade 4 students are in a process of trying to create a student council slash voice for the school and they are starting with the, a grade 4 council before taking it school wide, hopefully. We held campaign rallies in the form of a summative presentation on Wednesday the 5th and elections for the best plans for on Thursday 6th in the, in the lower school sports hall. MHS Announcements On Thursday the 13th of October, there will be an MYP celebration of learning. All students are asked to wear red, blue, and white on Thursday. The stage can be yours. Become an actor today. As you plan for your life in high school or after high school, come join the MHS Drama Club to engage and influence others. Ms. Gabby and the MHS Drama Club are searching for more students. You can join anytime. Bring a monologue to audition, Mondays from 3.30 to 4.30. Would you rather? Happy Sunday, ACS Doha. I am Hamza and I will ask you the typical questions on the new segment, Would You Rather? Last week, I asked you, would you rather ride a llama or a donkey? The results are in. It was a hard decision, it seems, but most people have answered a llama. The would you rather questions this week is, would you rather always say everything on your mind or never speak again? Um... I'd rather never speak again. Please share your name, grade, and answer to the Would You Rather by email to goodmorningecs at gmail.com to be revealed next week. We look forward to your thoughts. <laughs> Welcome to Jokes of the Week with Alia Joffrey. What did the ocean say to the sand? Nothing. It waved. <laughs> <laughs> what did the nuts say? What do nuts say when they sneeze? Cashew. <laughs> <laughs> what did the first plate say to the second plate? Dinner's on me. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have for you today, and I hope you have a great week. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fun Fact. This week's five facts are about soda. The first fact is, drinking one soda a day can age you by as many as 4.6 additional years. The second fact is, it would take 50 minutes of running, five miles of walking, to burn the calories in a 20 ounce bottle of soda. The third fact is, Coca-Cola is the most widely distributed product on the planet. If every drop of Coke ever made were placed in an 8 ounce bottle and laid at the end to end, the bottles would reach the moon and back over 2,000 times. The fourth fact is, the Academy, the Academy of General Dentistry has stated that the levels of acid found in sodas are comparable to that of a battery. High acidic content in soda coupled with high sugar content causes tooth enamel and erosion. Even with minimal exposure, many sodas have phosphoric acid, which has been associated with an increased risk of 
osteoporosis and both bone loss and tooth decay. Thank you for joining us with Fun Facts and I hope to see you all next week. Hey guys, welcome back to Roving Reporter. Today I'm here with Miss Winnie. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, um, I'm Miss Winnie. I teach grade four, lower school. Okay, so Miss Winnie has um, a more sanitary version um, of the alternative for the bathroom passes that we have in middle high school. Can you tell us how it works? Okay, so as teachers, we are always trying to find ways to well, keep track of students, but also make sure that the students um, are protected. Um, so one of the things that I did was to introduce uh, these are my bus pass, uh, toilet passes. And what we do is we make sure that there's only one student out. So when the child goes out, um, they switch on the light if it's a girl. So I know that the girl is out. And then when they come back in, of course, it's up to me to make sure that they either switch it off or um, they, they, uh, they remember to switch it off. Uh, so I know that the girl is out. Um, of course, when they're both on, we have two kids out, a boy and a girl, so that we are keeping track of them. But also, we do have some students who are part of the Ministry of Cleanliness, so they are the ones that are responsible for sanitizing the lights. Uh, so we do have a sanitizing spray, um, so we sanitize it three times a day, before break, um, after break, before lunch, after lunch, and at the end of the day, I do the last sanitizing. Wow, that's a really creative way. Um, I think I hope we start in implementing this in middle high school. Well, of course, it's it depends on uh, what the teachers prefer, right? Yeah. And the hardest thing about it is probably to keep track because for me, I'm only responsible for 18 students, yeah. so it's easy for me to track them and we of course we teach them to be principled so when they go out they know that they have permission to go outside so it's just also part of our teaching process yeah it needs also responsibility from the students Absolutely. yeah okay well we're impressed with the fourth graders <laughs> responsibility They're happy yeah. To help. yeah thank you no worries. of course this system would take some responsibility on our part i was personally so impressed with the initiative that the fourth graders were taking be sure to let us know which you prefer, the bathroom passes or the light up buttons. We are bringing back tune in ACS. In this segment, we will showcase musical or dramatic performances across our community. Please take a moment to enjoy Carol of the Bells from Reem M, grade 10. Thank you for joining us this week for your weekly news and updates. If you have an idea or news story, please share it to us at email by goodmorningacs at gmail.com. Have a great week.